you get education as a woman, Islamic education as a woman, and add to it the usual question of balance. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I am a working person, I have my in-laws, uh, or I have, my, have my parents, you know, this is all reality. Very few of us here is like, you know, it's only you, or maybe you and your husband. So where do you go? Where do you start? Anything you make it a goal and a priority, with Allah's help, it will work. But you also have to be realistic, meaning, I am not 18 year old in college studying Islamic studies. I am not, right? Where I have my 16 hour study from day to morning to evening, no. So you put your priorities. What will make you in peace, live in peace, is when you learn that everything you do in your home and at work, as long as it's halal and pleasing to Allah with the right intention is your act of worship. Don't look at cooking to your children as I'm wasting my time. I need to be on my sajada. You didn't get it. Because Allah said you need to take care of your children and we need to eat. However, having said that, I'm not going to spend three hours cooking because I'm going to get tired. So you need to be efficient, put your priorities. And as time changes, you will see more and more time. For example, I always wanted to memorize the Quran, but I was a resident in OBGYN. I did literally 16 to 18 hours a day. Good luck, absolutely. But I know I want it, and I know Allah will give it to me, al yaqeen And I know he will open the opportunity. So the first thing I did, once I finished my residency, started the journey, half an hour a day. Take, put as what you need to do, including taking care of yourself, of course, and 20 minutes of a study. And what is a study? There is a passive and there's active. You know this way. Passive, you're listening to lectures. Now, this is passive, you don't put much effort. You're listening to a YouTube, it's good. But this is not what will really make you learn. You need to sit down and open that book that you don't like. Tell me about it, right? And then you have to highlight everything that you don't understand. And you have to go and read again and again. And it's a journey. It doesn't happen. It's, there's no Burger King meal in Islamic education. That's how I call it. Yeah, I always say this. You know what? You want to come, order. I want to be a hafidah. Then you come in, pick up. The Quran is in your heart. Doesn't work this way. <laughs> Wallahi. I wish it would be very easy. That's why Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا It will take time, 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 and sabr, right? As, as Imam Abu Hanifa, it's a beautiful statement he said about his student. I think it was Muhammad al-Shaybani. Um, the meaning, he was giving a fatwa, and he was there, and the fatwa was not right, the, at the answer. And he was not giving him yet the permission to give the fatwa. So he said to him, you want to be a grape, and you have not even yet a small green, husrum, the small baby uh, grape, meaning it takes time. And, and this will make you all very happy. If I die, and this is what I said to myself when I started the journey, if I'm going to die, Allah knows, if he gave me life, I'll continue. And he will reward me as if I finished. Don't give up. Be organized. Don't waste your time. Woman, woman, don't waste your time. Kitchen, anything I can do in 30 minutes, don't do it in 35. You're wasting your time. Anything is not necessary, don't do it. Focus, put Allah and Jannah in front of you and see wonders will happen.